Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, my zone African Motives. Uh, still working on the question paper which was written in uh, February 2022 uh, for Engineering Science N2. So in this case, we are now on friction, which is uh, question number six. So we are given uh, on question of friction, so that is the one that you're going to focus on. So if you have been uh, part of the family from now, you can consider watching some of the videos that we actually worked on uh, from the first question, uh, from this question paper. and uh, can consider subscribing so that you become part of the family Mason African motives. So let's quickly rush through the question we are given that um, on 6.1 uh, there is a structure with a weight of uh, 300 Newton is pulled up an incline which makes an angle of 30 degrees with a horizontal. All right, the coefficient of friction is 0.6 is operational between the weight and the incline all right so we have got something like this in this case it's up the incline uh, so we can just have maybe a typical uh, part that we can actually represent this uh, up an incline which is uh, something like this actually so you can just indicate an angle uh, that is of 30 degrees remember the angle that is in between here is 30 degrees all right so you've got an angle of 30 degrees here and this is uh, the block that you are given with 3000 newtons so already there is mass and the gravitational acceleration is involved here all right so that is what you're going to have um, from this part okay and of course of course these typical forces that you're going to have in the frictional the coefficient of friction we are given the coefficient of friction uh, is 0 0.6 between the operational there, which is 0 0.6. All right. That's what you are given. So that's the diagram that you are going to end up with on this part. So, sorry, let's consider uh, this diagram and see what we are given. On 6.11, we are given calculate the weight component parallel to the incline. All right. So I have always said that the weight component uh, parallel, the incline, that's your FS. Okay, so from your formula sheet, it's given as W sine theta. That means we've got something like this, uh, W sine theta. All right, so where W is the weight already, we are given the weight here, which is 3,000 newtons. So it's just a matter of substitution, the weight of 3,000 so it's 3000 uh, sine theta which is the angle in between of 30 degrees so take note we know that w is equivalent to mg but already we are given the w so there's nothing that you're going to do we are not given the mass separate there so from your calculator you just multiply you are going to have 1500 joules remember uh, that is uh, the frictional uh, the weight component uh, parallel so this is the weight uh, component that you're going to have uh, so that is what you're going to have in this case so if you are to cross check in this case where am I having these jaws I'm wondering why am I having these units here I hope someone was even wondering what's happening there okay so let's see what we are going to do we can actually convert to kilonewtons okay or you can just leave it like that which is going to give us 1.5 kilonewtons okay so this is actually uh, w sine theta okay so uh, something like that All right then we have got 6.12 we are given to calculate the weight component perpendicular to the incline perpendicular all right so this one is perpendicular that is uh, FC, which is going to be W cos theta, or perpendicular, like this. Uh, you're given a perpendicular, 90 degrees there, F perpendicular, like this. Uh, for this parallel component, is F parallel, that's your F parallel, like this, or is FS or F parallel, like that. All right. So... It's just a matter of substitution again the w does not change we are still having the same w that we had which was 3000 so it's just 3000 cos here 3000 cos 30 degrees all right just like the previous part 
so you've got 3000 cos 30 degrees all right so from your calculator if you actually use your calculator properly you're going to obtain something like 2598.0 seven six two one one that, that is uh actually what you are going to obtain in this case so you have to cross check guys what you are doing there so you are going to have um uh zero nine six two nine newton there so which is gonna be something like you can just leave it like that or you can round off to three just more places if you want 98.076 newtons all right so you can write it in three decimal places uh, depending with the degree of accuracy that you're actually using but that is the perpendicular uh component the weight component that is a uh, perpendicular to the incline okay then on 6.13 calculate the frictional force okay so that's 6.13 we want to calculate the frictional force so that's your frictional force okay so we know that there is a relationship between the coefficient of friction and the frictional force and the component uh, perpendicular to the incline which is fc uh, so that's the relationship that we have between the coefficient of friction the uh, frictional force and the weight component that is perpendicular to the incline so actually if you need the frictional force you can actually cross multiply make uh, the frictional uh, force to be the subject that is going to be the coefficient of friction times the perpendicular component so always you use the perpendicular component so the frictional force uh, the coefficient of friction is there we remember we have got 0 0.6 there so we've got 0 0.6 multiply by the uh, perpendicular part which is your fc so the perpendicular remember that's your fc so you're going to multiply by two now to this this value that you have which is 2598 2598.076 all right so let's multiply guys and see what you're going to have so if we multiply properly we are going to obtain something like 1558.84 uh, uh, newtons we are still working with the frictional component here which is actually measured in uh, newtons so that is uh, what we had in this case I don't know today why am I focusing with yours uh, is because maybe um, um, there's a topic that I was actually working on so I'm still having the yours in my mind okay sorry for that guys but this is actually newtons okay so don't freak out uh, it's all normal in the brain if you work with a certain topic you always think about that all right so this is going to be 1558,846 if you want to change to three decimal place just like what you were doing so you can have it like this or you can leave it like that still it's fine okay but that's your frictional uh, force all right then um what else do you, were we given here we are given to calculate the applied force to pull the structure down the incline that is f down it's going down the incline so whenever you're given down the incline you have to subtract the parallel uh, component from the frictional force from the frictional force so in this case we can just write our formula as f down because it's pulled down the incline so that's f down so it's the frictional force minus the parallel component okay so this time you subtract the parallel component which is fs okay and the frictional force is there we obtained uh, one five the one that you just obtained now we obtained one five five eight uh comma eight four five six this is what you obtained minus the parallel component which is your fs which is 1500 if you still remember here your parallel component which is fs was 1500 so you're going to subtract 1500 all right so if you subtract 1500 you're going to be left with 58 this time it's a positive 8 58,8456 which is a positive actually in newtons all right so this is going to be your f down 
all right so that you've your f down like that all right so depending with the way that you want to to write it up you can write it using capital letter d d there i still want the same thing guys so you can just write down like this that's your f down all right so that's actually what we had there and let's see on 6.2 when 6.2 we are given the gauge pressure at a certain depth in an, in the ocean is 250 kilopascal. So this is the gauge pressure. Calculate the absolute pressure at that depth. Okay, at the depth we are given the gauge pressure. Uh, we know that the relationship between these two guys are on 6.2. The gauge pressure is actually the normal pressure that you are given. Uh, that you can just write gauge the P gauge. We are given the gauge pressure which is 250 kilopascal so this one is 250 kilopascals and we also know that the one for air is given the pressure of the air we are we know it's 101.3 kilopascals for for air okay for a normal air then what do we have in this case what are we left with we are left the one with the one for the absolute yes the absolute pressure is the one that we are left with so here guys the one for a is the atmospheric pressure here that you are given atmospheric pressure which is 101.3 kilopascals that is for a okay that is the atmospheric so you need the absolute pressure so the absolute absolute like that hope that's the proper spelling okay that the absolute pressure actually is equivalent to the gauge plus the air pressure so you just add these two so it's p gauge plus p a all right so gauge pressure which is 250 plus p a which is 101.3 kilo per techno this is in kilo and this is in kilo so your answer is going to be in kilopascals so if you add you are going to obtain 351.3 which is in kilo pascals because remember you were adding uh kilopascals so your answer definitely is going to be in kilopascals as well so that's the idea there guys that's the a whole concept that you give us as you can see guys it's actually 10 marks on friction and uh you can actually obtain these 10 marks that's a guarantee that you always know that uh, in exam i've got my 10 marks on friction I've got my 10 marks on heat if possible again uh, that's how they ask this question so that's it guys from us on african motives are uh, working on engineering science and two question papers and revisions so if you're new guys you just make sure that you become part of the family and also don't forget guys to share our videos to your friends and colleagues uh, at school wherever you are just make sure that you share our videos to your friends so that they also can benefit from this information by doing so you are saving a life you're saving someone outside there so please guys do so don't forget don't freak out okay so that's it guys it's all normal uh from maison african motives till we meet again